Well, you know, a, while, a little while back I asked, how could this launch get any worse? And you would think by now I would have learned my lesson. But no, NVIDIA right now is the gift that keeps on giving or taking, or in this instance, taketh away El Rapith. Today's video is brought to you by the new, really super cool Sense Melty Connector shirt. You know, paying tribute to one of the best designs that's clearly ever existed. And if you don't like the Vaporwave colors, we've got our OG gray and red colors available now. So get yours by following the link in the description below. Nice. Ow, I have a thigh cramp. <laughs> Okay, so obviously we're talking about the Tech Power Up article that went live today and Phil kind of uh, brought me my awareness to this. I wasn't even aware. Uh, apparently certain 5090 models, well, very, like randomized 5090 models are missing ROPS or raster uh, output pipeline. So basically what this, what ROPS are responsible for, uh, it's kind of like all the final post-processing uh, of an image or 3D post-processing. Um, so let's see here, if I just kind of do a generic like AI search of what is a ROP or a raster output pipeline, they're a component in the graphics pipeline that handle the final steps in 3D image processing on NVIDIA graphics cards or any graphics cards to be honest, but NVIDIA calls it ROPS and AMD calls it something else back end. Render back end. Render back end. <laughs> and they're responsible for tasks like pixel shading, texture mapping, anti-aliasing, depth testing, writing pixels to the frame buffer, uh, etc. ROPs also control anti-aliasing and perform transactions between relevant buffers in local memory. Um, so as you can tell, it's pretty important. It's not just like you might have your tensor cores and your CUDA cores and your RT cores, but the ROPs are basically responsible for everything uh, at, at the final, like, render of the frame in the scene. As you can see, it even writes it to the buffer as, it, as you can see. So anyway, um, what has kind of been found here is that 176 ROPs is what's supposed to be on the RTX 5090 die. Now it doesn't matter what brand you buy, whether it's, Z I almost said Zigtac, mm -hmm. Zotac, Gigabyte, MSI, Asus, NVIDIA, P uh, FE, PNY, um, Paylit, any of them, right? They all are gonna have 176 ROPs, supposed to, because the die is provided by NVIDIA. And then these card manufacturers make their own schematics and their own GPU layouts, their own power phases, all that crap. So it's important to note as we move forward with this story, this is an NVIDIA problem, not a Zotac problem, not an Asus problem, not an MSI problem. It is owned by NVIDIA because NVIDIA is supplying the die. Well, what was sort of, uncovered uh, by a reader uh, direct to tech power up by the name of Wuxi Gamer. Anyway, Wuxi Gamer, Wuxi Gamer. They found that their Zotac model, which is the OC solid, which is the same card I have right here, only had 168 of their 176 ROPs showing. Uh, so they were like, that's odd. They thought maybe something was wrong with their BIOS or their driver. So they tried doing BIOS update, didn't matter. Driver updates, DDU, doesn't matter. And now, None of that stuff would actually technically matter because this is a hardware level problem, not a software level problem. So by using GPU-Z to validate how many ROPs they have, they discovered like we are missing eight of them. Uh, no, actually, yeah, eight of them. So 168 versus 176. Um, Tech Power Up got uh, wind of that notification because they basically told Tech Power Up who's this guy's a reader of theirs, and said, hey, my card is missing. And so Tech Power Up went, I have a solid OC, we can check it too. And theirs was also missing 100, no, they weren't missing 100 of them. They were missing uh, eight. So they have 168 versus their 176. Now that's a fairly significant number to be missing, considering the fact that the ROP is responsible for so much. Uh, and given how big the die is, it's really interesting to, f to try and figure out why eight of them are disabled randomly throughout uh, different cards. So they kind of ran a test here. Their NVIDIA Founders Edition card, I don't have one on the table, um, scored in times by extreme graphics score a 25,438, where their Zotac card was scoring 22,621. And then their Gigabyte card was scoring 26,220. So a very significant performance drop of like anywhere between eight to 10%, depending. So as their like story has kind of blown up this morning, uh, more people have started checking and reporting in, hey, my card is missing ROPs too. And when they're missing, they almost always see, seem to be the exact same amount, 168 versus 176. So it's almost like one grouping of them and somehow missing. Now, considering the way that the bit architecture works, it makes sense that they'd be missing in groups of eight if they're missing. 
So far, no one's reported missing more than that. Only 168 seems to be the typical number here of, of ROPS um, versus what's actual. Uh, and it's hitting all the brands, not just Zotac. Now, Zotac probably had the most 5090s in the market. Like when we were at Micro Center and we were kind of observing the launch, they had, I think, 65 5090s at the Tustin store at the day of launch. Um, most of those were Zotac cards, and then there was a sprinkling of other brands uh, kind of throughout the morning. So this is a big deal. <clears throat> this is a big deal because now these cards that are missing them need to be warranty recalled. Uh, I guess, I don't know if a recall is the right word, but they need to be warranty swapped. Now here's the problem. There's probably nothing to swap them with yet. So right now you are not getting the hardware at which you paid for it. And it's just another black eye for Nvidia. And then maybe they're a spider because they have a lot of black eyes right now. There's a lot of eyes and a lot of opportunities to have black eyes right now for, for Nvidia. But this is, this is not good. You already are having them starting to melt. You have them pushing the absolute limit of the power delivery system. We have another video coming up where we did a very uh, intricate testing of the cable, a couple different cable types, pin types. That video is coming after this one because we're putting this one before that one because this is more of a sensitive matter. The pricing of stuff alone, it's just hardware wise, this is not looking great. Now I thought that maybe mine might've been missing ROPS because my solid OC is not performing as good as my FE card. And I only have an FE and then this card. I don't have any other versions to check. That liquid OC um, card from Asus, that, that Astral does not mine. That went back to my friend, it's in his build now. Um, based on his card's performance, I assume his are all there because it was just destroying any of my, my cards in terms of performance. Uh, but no, I checked and I do have all 176 showing in this card. So what I'm gonna do right now, there might be a lot of people watching that don't actually know how to check. It's pretty simple, it's very, very easy, but I, there's a, given the, the lurking I've been doing in forums and the questions I see being asked with people that have bought 5090s, there's a lot of people out there that have money and no knowledge. They might've just gotten into this hobby for the first time. So what I'm gonna do right now, we're gonna take this over to the PC. I'm gonna show you guys quickly, very easily, how to check how many ROPs you have. If you do not have all your ROPs and some are missing, you're going to have to go through the manufacturer. Now here's the thing. If, if you just bought the card from like Micro Center or whatever, I would not return it unless you've just decided you have buyer remorse and you want the, the money back. I don't know whether or not Micro Center would take this card back if it was missing ROPS, like if you bought the card from them, they might tell you, you gotta go through the manufacturer on that one. Unless you're within your return window and they have the no questions asked return policy, which they kind of do, you can kind of just get your money back. But the thing is, you're then gonna go back to the end of whatever queue system you're trying to get one with if you're trying to get a new card. So I might, have a couple different recommendations here specifically. So let's show you how to check your ROPS and then let's talk about how to make it right, which is going to be difficult. Okay, so we're on my test bench here. You're gonna go to Google and just type uh, Tech Power Up GPU-Z and then you can download it direct from Tech Power Up or any of their, their servers. Um, so once you've downloaded it, uh, it's on my desktop right here, double click it and it's gonna bring up this window, which is gonna tell you everything about your GPU. So here it is right here. We can see we have an NVIDIA R, uh, GeForce RTX 5090. Um, it's revision A1, GPU 2B85, whatever. But as you can see right here, ROPS and TMUs, 176 ROPS, uh, 680 TMUs. So if you had a card that's missing ROPS, where it shows that right there, it would say 168. Presumably 168. That's what all of them seem to be showing. Um, so this is where you can verify uh, whether or not your card is missing. Now, just a kind of a quick tutorial here. There's other things you can learn about your card, like what your default clock speed is, what your boost clock speed is. This is before any sort of GPU boost and stuff is really taken into account. Um, you can see whether or not your resizable bar is on. It should always be on, by the way. If it's not on, you could be missing a ton of performance. But just thought I would show. It also has sensors built in, so you could start, if you wanted to run a game and see what your max frequency was, your temperatures, all that sort of stuff, um, it's there. So that's what you need to do. Now let's talk about if your card is missing ROPS. You need to reach out to the customer service for whichever vendor you have. Good luck. They're probably getting hammered pretty hard right now by people asking when are they gonna be available, which is gonna clutter up that whole communication system. So I would write, a, maybe I would write a subject or something in the ticket or the email that says missing ROPS or my card is missing ROPS or maybe just missing ROPS, response required. 
Okay, you need to let them know you're demanding a response. Um, and then be kind. This is the part where people are, need to understand. This problem, although should have probably been discovered in the QAQC process of these sub vendors, which in this case is MSI, Zotac, Asus, all those guys, please know this is a problem they also inherited from NVIDIA. Okay, they are, in, they are in partnership with NVIDIA to sell NVIDIA branded cards under their own sub vendor naming and designs, but they didn't make the die. They purchased the die. They also are owed restitution by NVIDIA. Okay, so I don't know how long this is going to take to get remedied. I don't know how long it would take to get a, re, a replacement card, but you need to start the process. It's going to be first come first serve at the way that these tickets are inputted and handled. I wouldn't wait if you're missing it. So like I said, I don't think taking it back to the retail uh, place would necessarily, first of all, I don't think that that would be right. Because if you take it back to Micro Center, you're just like, oh, I don't want this card anymore. I'm gonna return it after all. It'll go open box, it'll get sold within 60 seconds. It probably wouldn't even make it to a shelf. And then someone else is gonna buy the card with missing ROPS. And to me, that is, that is, um, that is, that is wrong. That's, that's wrong to return a card that you know is defective in some way and then let it be someone else's problem. So yeah, I almost feel like Micro Center, if they're bringing back 5090s, might wanna throw them on their own test benches and see if they're missing ROPS or not. And if they are missing ROPS, I don't know what the process would be there. Uh, that's This is murky, and this is a situation, once again, NVIDIA has created, that has also created further distrust, further distaste, and disdain. All the dis, all the disses, that's where we are today. So there you go, 5090s, not even, some of them not even shipping with all their ROPs. <laughs> it's a 5089. <laughs> yeah, it's a 5085. 5085. It's a 5085.